Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. We've got the beautiful Amy from Sydney Opera House joining me today, and we're going to be doing a live stream um, from Sydney Opera House um, of Badu Gili. So uh, pretty exciting stuff. We'll also have a presentation from Amy later on, and we're doing a Kahoot quiz today as well. So welcome, Amy. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Emma, and thanks so much, everyone, for joining, and happy Friday. Hope you've all had a good week. Um, so I'm new to the Opera House. I've been uh, here for about six weeks now. Um, so really excited to sort of be able to engage with you today. Um, it's a really exciting um, evening in Sydney or morning for you guys when we're launching Badu Gili. So Badu Gili is a light projection on um, the smaller set of um, sales of um, the Opera House, which is the Benelong restaurant area. Um, so it's been done with a collaboration uh, from the Art Gallery of New South Wales. They've got six First Nation women who have submitted some artworks um, and they're the artworks that we're going to be seeing today. So Badagili um, runs four times uh, a night at sunset, 7 p.m., 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Um, every day of the year for the general public to enjoy. So this is the third series. So I hope that you guys all enjoy it. Um, it should be starting in a few minutes. We're going to be live streaming via YouTube. Um, so what we might do is um, I might screen share the YouTube and we might just sit and wait for the live stream to kick in. Perfect. Cool. And if anyone has any questions, um, do use the Q&A box and we'll do our best to be able to get back to everybody um, during the session as well. Perfect. Um, Samantha, it's four times a night. So from sunset, so sunset's always hard to tell, obviously, and then 7 p.m., 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. I do believe the times do adjust um, later on in the year as daylight savings kicks in here in Sydney. Um, but for now, they're the allocated times. <laughs> Thank you. All right, um, let's get this YouTube link open. So bear with me. Uh, and I'll give you, um, Tracy, I'll give you all an update about what's happening in the house um, after the um, present, um, after the uh, live stream and we'll go through what products are operating because um, we are open as well.
a new service called Stream, which is exclusive to Sydney Opera House, where we um, have performances, um, Badu Gili, um, Vivid when that comes back as well. It's all available for you to watch. So you can tune into live performances, um, the Badu Gili. So you're more than welcome to tune into that whenever and I'm more than happy to share those links with you as well um, after the, um, the session today. Cool. So okay. shall we... Um get your updates and everything from Sydney Opera House. Yeah, sure. Um, if you just want to share your presentation and then yeah, we can let's get do it. into the quiz at the end as well. Sure. All right, let's get that up. Just bear with me one moment. That looks good. You're just on mute though, Amy. <laughs> Perfect. All good. Sorry. Um, I still had the YouTube playing all that lovely Indigenous <laughs> music in the background, so I had to jump out of it. Um, too distracting for me. Um, all right. um, Emma, is that all fine? You can see that clearly? Yeah, yeah, that looks great. Thank Amazing. you. Amazing. Great. 
Um, so I hope you all enjoy Badu Gilly. For anyone that had any issues, I do apologise. We will send the link through um, after this. Um, so what I wanted to do is just give you all a quick overview about Sydney Opera House, our products, um, and what's going on, what we're working on, and what's happening with COVID. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you um, would understand that we've, um, we're currently open. Um, we opened back up in November last year. Um, we have just opened up to the trade as well earlier this year, um, and we are taking bookings. So at the moment, of course, as many other countries are, we're focusing mainly on domestic, um, but we are obviously craving our international markets to come back. So fingers crossed those borders open up soon. We run all of our tours on limited capacities, um, obviously to help with the, um, the social distancing between one another. So everything's running at about 50%. But in our performance studios, we do have 100% um, capacities and masks are no longer required by um, the customers, which is really nice for people. So uh, Sydney Opera House is located on Benalong Point in Circular Quay. So we have the Royal Botanic Gardens just behind us and the building points out to Sydney Harbour Bridge. So it's spectacular. Um, it was, the Opera House was actually designed by a man um, from Denmark called Jorn Utzen in the 1950s. He actually submitted a design piece um, to New South Wales government and they accepted his design uh, for the performance space. It took uh, 14 years to build uh, one million tiles over the sales um, and there's some amazing history behind it all. So within here you can see this big sale here. This is our concert hall. Behind is the Joan Sutherland Theatre. Both are performance spaces. We share that with Australian Ballet and Opera Australia. Here is the um, Benalong restaurant and then on the back of the Benalong restaurant is where we uh, saw Badu Gilly tonight. So here we've got the forecourt. So this also is a performance space. Um, you can actually have up to 6,000 people in this space. Now I'm giving you guys a lot of sort of figures and things like that because hint, some of these will be part of your trivia questions later. So I hope you're taking note. Okay, so this is the building. It opened in 1973 in October. So like I mentioned, you've got the concert hall here, Joan Sutherland Theatre, Benalong Restaurant, three drama theatres down here. We've got our brand new Yalamundi rooms, which sit around here, and our Utsun room here. So there's more than just one space. It's a good space for performance, but also for business events as well. So our tour offerings at the moment are kind of cut in half. Um, we've got our one hour guided experience, which is kind of like the signature product, which we've had operating for a long time. This is run by a professional guide. <coughs> Sorry. You will go in and you'll um, see sort of spaces that you wouldn't normally if you weren't uh, with a guide. A lot of people have that bucket list moment. They want to have the photo outside the opera house. We want to encourage people to come in hear the stories, learn about the performances and see some of the rooms where, where we've got some really famous people come to perform. This tour traditionally is run in seven different languages, Japanese, Korean, Mandarin, French, German, Spanish and English. But for now, we're just operating it in English, um, just obviously due to borders being closed. It's a one hour tour. You get some amazing photographs. And you will sort of travel along 200 stairs, which honestly is not that much um, once, you're, once you're sort of living the moment. Um, so it's a, a low impact tour. And this tour generally runs with 48, with 48 packs. As I mentioned earlier, due to COVID, we're just running it on 20 people per tour. The concert hall, which is our biggest performance state, um, performance um, indoor venue is currently under um, a renewal program. So, while, that, while the works are being done, they've created a new immersive digital experience. This is a room where we've got light projection and music and performances being projected onto the walls. It's pretty amazing. They've used a lot of the materials that are actually found within the concert hall as well. It's a five minute experience. Um, and it's, it's one of those sort of 
you know, shivering moments where it's it's so special and the music is so powerful and you understand the history about the Opera House. So a nice little fill-in while that concert hall is currently not available for the public to see. So one of our new products, which we haven't, um, which only launched this year, so it's not been available for trade partners previously, is our architectural tour. Currently, it's just running on Saturdays at one time slot, but of course, we'll look at increasing that when we see the demand come through. Similar to the one hour tour, you do travel around with a guide, but instead of going inside the performance spaces, you travel around the outside of the building for a lot of the tour, looking at how the 1 million tiles have all been placed learning the stories behind Jörn Utzen and the, you know, the difficulties that he had throughout, um, throughout making the project. So it's a really cool tour. I actually did it for the first time yesterday um, with the Famil group and it was honestly breathtaking. So many questions and the guides are just so knowledgeable. So something that anyone that's a bit of a um, architectural buff would really enjoy. Again, another uh, new product, which we haven't offered to trade previously, is our Beyond the Stage tour with brunch. Similar to what some of you may remember as our backstage tour, this is a small group tour of up to 10 packs only. You go into spaces where you would not normally be allowed to go. You will get to do things like go out on a stage um, and sort of go behind the scenes, see where the sets are. So, things that the other tours don't um, traditionally go and see. Uh, afterwards, we, uh, we finish off with a delicious brunch at Opera Kitchen. Opera Kitchen is one of our um, restaurants out on, the for, uh, out on the harbour foreshore. At the moment, the menu is um, cannolis with baked eggs um, and uh, a granola with yogurt. So really delicious and a glass of Prosecco, of course. So that's um, something that at the moment, again, it just runs on Saturdays, but of course, when demand um, comes back, we'll look at increasing that. And I'm excited to announce that um, we finally have been able to launch back as of Tuesday this week our Tour and Dine. So that's the one hour signature Sydney Opera House walking tour. Um, and it finishes off with lunch or an early dinner, depending on your tour time, um, again at Opera Kitchen. So Opera Kitchen, which is a, a restaurant that looks out to Sydney Harbour Bridge, um, has just had a bit of an overhaul. So they're running a food hall. So the kind of food on the menu is um, very international. You've got poke bowls, uh, ramen, karagi chicken sandwiches, um, fresh made pasta from the pasta bar. So really delicious. And we include a drink in that as well. So essentially guests will go on the tour and then part of their voucher confirmation is that they can then just present that at the opera kitchen and get a meal and they can enjoy it at their own leisurely time. So we do say uh, like allow two hours to enjoy it, um, but if you've got a nice day for it, you're probably going to want to stay a bit more than that. So another product that we've got at the moment, it's on a request basis only. This is a COVID developed product. It's um, a digital guided tour. Essentially, it's a pre-recorded walkthrough um, with a real life guide who um, manages uh, the tour um, through a Zoom call with people. So it's a good way for people to sort of stay engaged with what's happening in certain cities, um, in attractions. We do have it on a request base only at the moment, um, but what we can do is we can do buyouts for conference groups. We've recently had a big group um, internationally for a conference where we've um, we've launched the digital tour for them, um, for them to enjoy um, for a one hour sort of experience throughout their conference, just to sort of um, give them something new and, you know, I guess, fill the void of that travel. So there's a variety of um, other products that we've traditionally had, which is, you know, Private Taste of Opera, which is the tour, a, a nice meal followed by a private opera, opera recital. Um, also our performance packages, which is a tour, um, meals at either our portside restaurant or the fine dining Benelong restaurant, followed by a performance of whatever's on the schedule around that time. Um, at the moment, those products are offline, but we are working to, we're working towards rates at the moment. Um, obviously that's a big thing. We need to make sure that the rates are good and they're in line and they're not um, overly, 
there's no big difference between what we would have offered pre-COVID to now. So we're working on all of that now and what the product offering will look like. Um, but rates generally for all the other products are in line with what we've previously offered and we're looking to continue to hold that rate as well moving forward. Here's a little slide about um, us being COVID safe. Um, as I mentioned earlier, masks are no longer required by um, general public. Um, it's just for staff members that are working um, with the public that we make that mandatory. Um, to maintain physical distancing, our tours are running on reduced capacities. Um, everyone at the moment is required to scan in with a QR code. Um, and to check in that way, if any contact tracing needs to be done, we have captured all the correct information, which is a New South Wales requirement regardless. Um, and then we've got staff members walking around with um, the disinfectant, um, one person per tour group to make sure that everything is sanitised and clean. And of course, hand sanitizer stations located throughout. So... Thank you all for tuning in. I hope that's given you a bit of a, a bit of an overview as to what we're doing at the Opera House. We are open. Um, we're trying to work with domestic as best we can, but we miss our internationals. So looking forward to welcoming you all back as soon as we can. Thank you so much, Amy. I know it's your Friday night there at the moment. So we also yeah. appreciate you giving up your, your, your Friday That's night. That's okay. Class. The glass of rosé is in the fridge ready to go. <laughs> I love that. But, yeah, appreciate you giving us all those updates on Sydney Opera House.